Dear friends, this is management of a soft intumescent cataract. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now, this is a paracentesis. On the right side of the main incision, about two and a half clock hours away. And this is another paracentesis, two and a half clock hours away on the left side. And now this is an air bubble. I want to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. Here goes the dye. Tripan blue, 0 0.06 percent dye. When you apply the dye underneath an air bubble, staining is immediate. And within 5-6 seconds, the staining is very good. And now the dye is washed out with BSS. And now this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Yes, it is very much possible to do intermescent cataracts with only SPMC. Just make this C flap. This is the key. Just make this C flap and convert this C flap into a small rexus. And once you convert this into a small rexus, aspirate some cortical lens matter through this opening and reduce the intralenticular pressure. In intumescent cataracts, the intralenticular pressure is very high. Once you aspirate some cortex, the intralenticular pressure reduces. But the, there should not be a, any elevation on any side. All around the capsule should be flat after aspiration of cortical matter. So you can go through the side ports and aspirate some cortical matter. You can use bimanual irrigation aspiration instead of Simco if you want. And see this cortical matter is coming out and there is after a reduction of intralenticular pressure, this cataract is just an ordinary cataract. And now inject visco again and take a vana scissor and make a cut and see what has happened. The tag is like this. If you hold the tag in front, you will not be able to move it. So you have to hold the tag on the right side and go clockwise. Yes. Because the tag in front will not move. And now go clockwise all around and enlarge this mini rexis into an optimum sized rexis. Inject visco again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. Here it is. The teeth goes into the anterior chamber, bevel down and now turn the teeth and make the bevel up. Push the nucleus little down and bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus and chop it. Hold it again and chop at another place. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. And this is the other half of the heminucleus. It is also emulsified and removed. And now this is the remaining heminucleus. 
it is chopped into two parts and each part is emulsified and removed. Fake power used in this case is 60 percent, fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now inject visco again to protect the corneal endothelium and now use either bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial IA or this very simple instrument a 23 gauze Simco cannula. You can have as many 23 gauze Simco cannulas as you want for subsequent cases but bimanual and coaxial irrigation aspiration devices are costly. And now this posterior capsule and the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim is being polished as much as possible. Some cortex is still there at 2 o'clock. It is removed. So cortical cleanup is done very nicely. Posterior capsule is clean. There are no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. And now this is hydro polish. And now a foldable intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigation. We can call it hydro implantation. Yes, the lens has gone into the capsular bag and see the size of the rexus. The rexus has covered the optic all around and we call it ideal rexus. And now, it is said that in intumescent cataracts, you need a femto laser to do rexus. But if you raise your skills, if you develop astonishing, amazing surgical skills, do you need a femto laser? No. So, Instead of investing crores of rupees, please improve your surgical skills and manage difficult cases. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. The key in this video is see in which direction the rexis should go. In this case, the rexis, I had to move the tag clockwise to make the rexis. Thank you once again for your attention.